I love games! Hello everyone, my name is Sponge Sonic and I love games. And I want to share my favorite games with you. Before I begin, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell to receive updates on all of the latest Sponge Sonic uploads. Last time, I went over many possible skips that you could pull off in Shadow Generations. Those shortcuts by themselves were already game changers, but there are shortcuts and skips in Chaos Island that are just as game changing. The goal of this run? To activate the Doom Wings at the earliest point possible. That way, you can get the most out of this awesome ability in this stage. Let me show you how. To start, you'll want to prioritize collecting at least 50 rings. That's the minimum you need to use the Doom Wings. To do this, you'll first want to quick step to any of these ramps with either the L1 or R1 buttons, or whichever is the equivalent on your controller. Doing this will launch you forward. Then, press the jump button to reach this dash ring. Up ahead, you'll see this purple goo that can best be traversed using Shadow's Doom Morph. Collect those rings, jump off this point, and head for those springs. For faster and more efficient traversal, you'll want to press R2 for that extra boost. A neat little tip right here. Attack all of these small enemies to fill up the Chaos Control meter so that you can use Chaos Control soon after. Once you've activated it the first time, boost off this ledge and onto this platform, then attack those enemies up ahead. Shortly after, you'll encounter two more that'll fill that meter right back up. If you did all that right, you'll have more than enough rings to activate the Doom Wings. Now, the sky's the limit. Literally. Instead of using Doom Morph in this section to get to that Chaos Control capsule, just use the Doom Wings to fly over there. No need to hit those balloons, just fly around them. And no need to do this long-winded lava section, just fly over it. But be careful with your boost gauge. It does deplete rather quickly, and without rings to replenish it, you risk running on a boost while in midair. So also be careful with your ring count. It's even better to use the Doom Wings in Act 2. Dodging these rolling balls is a pain in the butt. It is way too easy to get rolled over by one. It's especially frustrating if you're working to collect enough to use the Doom Wings. Fortunately, there is a way to get 50 rings before reaching this section. Simply take this upper pathway the whole way through. There are plenty of rings to collect. You'll have 50 rings before you know it. From this point on, any obstacle that made this level a pain can no longer hurt you. Plus, there are plenty of rings to ensure that the Doom Wings stay on the whole way through. My favorite skip in this level is right here. Normally, you have to use this platform and jump to go either up or down. The Doom Wings make this section a breeze. All you gotta do is fly through these spike balls up to this checkpoint. It's as simple as that. These tricks and skips make Chaos Island, both Acts 1 and 2, a lot more fun than they already were. As you can see, I love games. And if you love this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for updates on all the latest Sponge Sonic uploads.